Yo, what up, fam? It's your boy C's from the C's Life.com. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. So, so much has happened in the past week. Um, hey, Brooklyn. Like, look at Brooklyn. She's all shaved down. Ain't your girl. Getting ready for the summer. We just uh, came back from Salt Lake. It was such a great time, yo. I just, yo, it's really early to tell, but I think we're gonna end up in Salt Lake one day, cause aside from the potential overdue for another earthquake, there's something magical about that place, man. Every time I go visit the fam, just surrounded by these massive canyons. I had a great time. We were in town celebrating the in-laws 50th wedding anniversary. Uh, got there, settled in, played with the nephew. Uh, we uh, did some trampolining. We did some, uh, <laughs> we played some basketball, some badminton. Like all that nostalgia it's just a vacation sees, you know, vacation me and then the reality every day to day may be two different things, but the feeling I get when I go there is just like no other. I just love it out there. Uh, got some drone shots of some of the canyon and like it was about 80 degree weather, but they still had snow at the very top. At the very top is like 11,000 uh, 11, feet elevation. But yeah, man, Salt Lake is dope. So uh, looking forward to visiting more frequently and maybe retiring there, who knows? <laughs> but Brooklyn, forever. Anyway, uh, today, I got a lot of things to get done. I just finished shooting a video, some videos from my website. So using this big boy to uh, pretty much help people move better, feel better. I was out there again in Salt Lake and uh, realized that there's a lot of people that are, that's been hermits, you know, throughout this whole pandemic and haven't been getting much movement, haven't been getting much sunlight, so they're feeling a little depressed. So uh, I just said, yo, let me just take it upon myself to shoot these videos and help people get out of that funk, right? So I was with my father-in-law. He just had shoulder replacement surgery and he's like been battling these different aches and pains, you know, throughout his whole body. So. Um, I attribute that to that um, to his shoulder being replaced because it's a trickle-down effect you know like you got to work the whole body and it has the whole body has to adjust to that one shoulder being replaced right so I did some uh, crocodile breathing some little stuff to get some little uh, developmental things to get him feeling better on a day-to-day -day basis so I shared that on my website um, more of those videos gonna come and yeah man I keep you guys updated websites down below and then also like yo peep this if you have dreadlocks this satin bonnet is a lifesaver man especially in dry climates like Phoenix like this right here I go to sleep with it and it just protects my locks uh, so I'll leave that down in the description below so I got a ton of errands to run and uh, yeah, I'll take you guys along with me, man. All right, fam, so if you go onto my website, my uh, book is still for sale. To stop exercising, start training, it's only 10 bucks. Uh, also got my social to follow me on. And I just updated it with an article, Crocodile Breathing. So if you have any thoughts, questions, concerns, just hit me up in the comments down below or just shoot me an email and I'll make custom articles just catered to your questions or specific needs, all right? I'm gonna be posting a lot more articles on my website.
finished coming back from getting the Pfizer vaccine. And right now I'm just monitoring my symptoms. Uh, feel, feel great, you know. Uh, first one, just had a little sore arm. Second one, the Pfizer vaccine. People tend to develop flu-like symptoms. Uh, it's been about three hours since I got in the vaccine, so I haven't felt anything. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that I don't develop any of those flu-like symptoms. And I could just move on, you know? At the end of the day, just wanna just keep moving forward. And I know there's a lot of anti-vaxxers and pro-vaxxers, like, I personally believe there's room for both, you know? There's room for the people who are anti-vaxxers and, you know, have their conspiracies and they're the pro-vaxxers, same thing. I think that, you know, both sides of the coin have some sort of truth and whatnot. But at the end of the day, my decision was for the betterment of myself and my family. You know, just keep moving forward. Whatever side of the fence you're on, just handle your business, making sure that whatever decision that you make is important for you and your family, all right? You don't have to <laughs> jump over the fence and try and rattle cages and rattle fences. It's all right. If you are anti-vax, it's all good. If you're pro-vax, it's all good. Just mind your business and keep pushing forward. At the end of the day, we all just trying to get you know, the best outcome out of the, this limited time that we're here on this earth, right? So that's my stance on it. Just got it done. Now me and my family can just move forward and just get to handling our business, all right? Um, anyway, I'm gonna continue to monitor and keep you guys updated. If you guys care about this sort of stuff, you know, I keep you guys updated in how I'm feeling. But right now, I feel good and we're about to fire up the grill. Beautiful day out in Phoenix, Arizona. Look at that. Four o'clock, 95 degrees. <laughs> Can't complain. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll holla. Peace.